and welcome back to Jazz's Angel Number Tarot. I'm excited to get into today's pick a card because today we're going to do a reading to see whose mind are you living in rent free okay and what are they thinking. So I'm excited for this one. It's a love reading of course. My Etsy shop is in the description if you'd like a private tarot reading. That is where you can find me. Other than that, pause the video if you need more time with the piles. You can pick more than one pile. We have group one with the purple stone. Group two with the pink stone. Group three with the orange stone, and group four with the green stone. So just take three deep mindful breaths, center yourself, your intuition, and then pick the pile or piles you're being called to, and we're just going to get started. All right, group one with the purple stone. Let's get right into it, okay? Whose head are you living in rent-free? So the first couple of cards we have under your stone, we have... Uh, squeaky clean, ready to mingle, and I am hoping my I, I am opening my heart to you. Love me. So tapping into this person's energy, it looks like they really want your attention. Group one, they really want your attention. They're trying to get you to acknowledge them, trying to get you to pay attention to them, but they want to do things the right way with squeak, squeaky clean and ready to mingle. It's like, I am ready to mingle. I'm ready to put myself out there again. They may have been on like a, a no dating break for a long time, really focusing on themselves, working on their business, working out, working on mind, body, and soul, their mental, their spiritual standing, whatever. They may have just, you know, really been in a deep hermit mode, but they're ready to mingle again and they're interested in you um, we do have time for a change so um, and abundance of love you know interestingly enough this could be a gym crush or something like that and you've been really trying to get their attention um, but they haven't been responding up until now because now it's like, okay, once they're ready, we have abundance of love. So they're going to be giving you a lot of attention and really pursuing you, trying to show you that they want to talk to you. They want to be with you, get closer to you. Um, but I don't feel like it was like that before with the time for a change card. They weren't reciprocating before. I feel like they weren't. With the shine your light, it seems like you were doing a lot of trying to show them who you are and trying to like get them on board, trying to get them to open themselves up to you, to be understanding of who you are. Um, but they were just so hyper focused on like their inner journey and whatever it is they had going on in their life. They just weren't open to love um, when you first met. But now uh, you can probably see that their energy is opening up. You can probably tell that they're trying to get closer to you, trying to talk to you and get to know you. We have a long-term relationship and confessions that just came out. So this person is going to reveal directly to you how it is that they feel and they're going to reveal that they are romantically interested. And hopefully you can get some insights about the past. Honestly, it, there may not really be a cause for it. It depends on how much you try to pursue them. This does not feel like someone you were talking to romantically. If you did, maybe both of you guys fell into the pressure if there's a lot of like physical tension between the two of you maybe you you know fell to the pressure you went out one time or you were physically intimate and then stopped talking but for most of you this feels more like something with someone that you haven't explored romantically and you may have had like a really good week or a couple of days or whatever how however long with them and then things like completely fizzled out but not to the point where it deserves a conversation so It'll vary from person to person, like what you get, you know, from them. But I can tell you that this person is going to confess their feelings. We have, please don't be skeptic. I'm only, da I'm only acting differently because I want to create change. And we have the time for a change card that came out. So I feel like that is spot on. And then we have, I don't know how to communicate well. I try though. Tapping into this person's energy, I don't feel like this is the kind of person that likes to share um, decision-making processing. I know a lot of people like that. Typically, this is a characteristic of masculines as well. Like, they won't allow you to have a conversation because they like to think about things on their own, make up their mind, and then just tell you what their decision is. But the thing is, in a relationship, there are two people involved, so you're gonna have to communicate even when you don't want to, even when it feels uncomfortable. You have to share that space because you're sharing a relationship with a person. 
so this person may be the kind of person that likes to process how they're feeling how they're thinking all on their own and then finally reveal what their final thoughts are or what they want to do next like after they're good and ready and they've thought everything all the way through um so that could be a part of why this person like went ghost or stopped talking to you or pulled away so noticeably I'm willing to put in the work for this connection if you are. So they are very much so interested, thinking about you a lot. Uh, I feel like they watch you a lot as well. I feel like this person watches you a lot. Like when you're not looking, you may always feel like this person has eyes on you or you may always like end up just randomly running into this person. It's like, this cannot be a coincidence. Like what is going on? Um, or they may watch you a lot on social media. We have the Seven of Cups in reverse and the King of Pentacles. So that's the thing. The King of Pentacles is very slow moving energy. Pentacles is earth energy and it is the slowest in the tarot deck. So this may actually be a very long time coming. This could be someone you met at work, but you haven't spoken to in a year. This could be that that pile where it's like you guys have the unique circumstances with your person because that's King of Pentacles. Very slow, very sitting here very statue like statuesque sitting here thinking very intense gaze very serious they can come across as very serious um seven of cups in reverse they thought good and well about whether or not they wanted to pursue you maybe it's because they already knew you were interested so with the king of pentacles comes a high level of mat uh, emotional maturity as well so um this isn't the king of pentacles isn't the type to play with hearts the king of pentacles is very charming so you could easily fall in love with the king of pentacles but the king of pentacles genuinely won't give you reasons to fall for them if you fall for them that's out of their control on your own but um they're not going to like tempt you and and make you feel like there's a to and fro going when they know that they're not interested so that's the good thing about the king of pentacles but very slow with their decision making but anyways they thought long and hard about this so they're going to be trying to pursue you in the future now we have the ace of cups and the star in reverse so I think there has been a change in the situation. And I think the change is that you guys are now closed off to dating this person or you no longer see them as your wish fulfillment. There's like this energy of you taking the fairy dust or the rose colored glasses off of the situation and seeing them for who they are. And you're like, you're very much so a human. <laughs> you're not like some higher level being that I cannot attain. You're a normal human just like me. So. I think if anything, it's just going to go slowly because the thing about the King of Pentacles is the King of Pentacles does not give up easily. The King of Pentacles will only give up if it wouldn't be, if there wouldn't be a return on their investment. They are very uh, pentacle based or value based, like is this worth it? Um, so the only thing that would make this person run away from you is if you were to flat out tell them, I do not want to be with you, I will not be with you, or if you were to like play games and come across as like emotionally immature, then they would be like, oh, this isn't someone that I'm compatible with. But um, I do feel like there's been a switch in the conversation uh, or the switch in your feelings for them. We have the 10 of wands in reverse and the three of wands. So that's almost like an energy of you fully letting this go and expecting something better to come through. There's like an energy of I tried to shine my light. I tried to show you that I'm interested. You didn't take it, you know, or you didn't take the opportunity before. So you don't that that opportunity is no longer on the table. Ooh, but we have the two of cups. So regardless of your intention, you guys are compatible and you are still in alignment. So the plot thickens. I guess you'll you'll see how it ends up, but I feel like you'll probably eventually still move forward with them. We got the two of pentacles and the six of swords, so there is some hesitation, but slowly but surely I see you moving forward with this person. <laughs> So that's what I got for you guys, group one. My Etsy is below. If you want a private tarot reading, that is where you can find me. But that is who's got you on their, you know, mind. Like you're living in this person's head rent free. And they're also coming towards you. So there's that. Um, that was your spread. I'll talk to you later. Now offering seven day vigil candles burned on my personal altar for money, transformation, romantic love, psychic ability, clearing negative energy, passion, power, and more.
Pisces. All right, if you chose group two with the pink stone, this is your reading. So the first couple of cards under your stone for who has you on their minds, whose head are you living in, run free, what are they thinking? We have building up the nerve, persuasion, and I chose someone else over this connection and I realize I made a terrible mistake. So immediately this person has a strong energy of regret. Um, immediately I'm feeling kind of like this person is down in the in the dumps, but they, uh, they, they have a plan. Tapping into their energy, they have a plan. We have persuasion and building up the nerve. So they're gonna be trying to reach out to you, trying to talk to you. Um, they've been building up the nerve to come back. You see, the problem is, I thought another card came out, but it didn't. Um, we have the chemistry card here. So I always point out like the thing about chemistry is it takes two to have chemistry. Both parties have to be invested, interested in order for there to be chemistry. Chemistry is not when one person is just in love with the other and the other one is unrequited, you know? So the problem is there's mutual chemistry that you have with this person. I, if I had to say with someone who's coming back in a persuasive energy, or maybe this is talking about the past, if I had to say, I would say that maybe they tried to love bomb you before or get into a relationship too quickly and you are not into that. You can see straight through that. If someone's trying to love bomb you or jump into something like super quick, you may not be responsive to that at all. You may gray rock that behavior. So because they couldn't get through to you as quickly as they usually do, or because they weren't able to have you falling all over them in two seconds, they may have like chose someone else, you know, to make you jealous thinking that you would start fighting over them, but you didn't. We're ha we have year worth love and positive thinking. So to be honest, I feel like Spirit is kind of like cautioning you. That's how this feels. Positive thinking is spirit kind of being like, or maybe this is already what you know. I'm worthy of love. I know that love will come in. Optimistic. It's about 50-50. Some of you are optimistic. Some of you spirit is saying like, here's the proof of it. You know, the proof is in the pudding. This person is coming back to you. So obviously the entire time, you know, you've been worthy and deserving of love. But I do feel like for some of you, the situation hurt you in a way that I don't feel like you'll be able to forgive and move over. It's just like it was way too soon to see that in someone. You know how they say like, the, I, I saw like a video the other day and somebody was like, the, the, the key is to let them fall in love with you and then show them your weird side once they're already in love so that they can't pull away. It kind of reminds me of that dynamic where it's like also don't turn up on someone and show them you're crazy or show them your toxic side too soon because of course they will walk away. They always gotta they always gotta mow the lawn like soon as I'm recording like but anyways that's how this feels like this person showed a level of toxicity that you are not comfortable with too soon and some of you guys may be like completely turned off we have out of the blue so this person is coming through to express their feelings unexpected let's see what's on their mind spirit for group two what are their thoughts about them open your heart to me let me love you so this person can clearly feel that you have walls up with them or that you're holding them like at arm's distance, not trying to allow them to get super close to you. I want a healthy relationship with you and I fantasize about you a lot. I can't get you out of my mind. You may be dreaming of this person. If you have any sort of spiritual connection with them, you're probably sensing their energy randomly or dreaming of them. And it's like, can you get out of here? Can you get out of my mind? Out of my energy. Ugh. I do feel a little bit of immature and impulsive energy from this person. We have, my feelings are currently of a sexual nature. So I do feel like this person is giving me fox energy. They're like a fox, like cute, endearing, but trickster, very fast. They like things very fast. And um, 
I feel like this person wants everything, every girlfriend, every boyfriend privilege before giving someone that title. And they think that just because they like someone, that means that they're deserving of that or that means that they can have that with someone like it just it's immature you know it's almost a bit naive like they just don't understand how humans work and it's crazy because you go online and you'll see so much content and people that are into hookup culture and things like that and if you spend a lot of time online you could end up pressured into surrendering to that but a lot of people in real life don't want to kiss you on the first date a lot of people in real life don't even really want to hold hands with you or be close to you in that way on the first date like ugh. Oh, I just had a flashback of a <laughs> so sorry. I just had a flashback of a date where this guy tried to kiss me. And I was like, I'm gonna lose my lunch. Okay, we just ate. Please don't bring those lips over here before I puke. Like I was so disgusted at the fact that he thought he was gonna be kissing on me on the first date or whatever. I was like, um, no, it's not giving that. But anyways, <laughs> that's just the energy that I get here. With this person is just a bit naive or really just in their own world not connected to reality because they really feel like they should be able to have all of you um i'm lusting after you it's all i can think of i'm in a relationship right now but i can't stop thinking about you so <laughs> funny uh you said you made a mistake um but you're still in that relationship you know uh it's no one's business what we do our issues are not theirs let's keep it that way what we have is faded we're meant to be in each other's lives that's that's it that's exactly the energy i was trying to explain before they feel like just because they have a strong connection to someone and it's faded or they met them for a reason that they're entitled to that person like well spirit puts you in my life so you're mine and it's like i mean in a way but no we also have free will so that just it does it doesn't it's not a thing we have please don't be skeptic i'm only acting differently because i want to create change and i'm going to return to you this is not over so you're living in this he person's head rent free lo and behold they're in a whole relationship okay um thinking about you fantasizing about you probably while they're you know in someone else and it's just like they're they're a bit immature they really are we have the death card in reverse and the hangman so i feel like the universe unfortunately is going to bring them to their knees and they're going to be led back to you but some of you are not going to be wanting to move forward with this person some of you just don't want anything to do with them <clears throat> they're immature and you don't want a relationship where you have to where you have to work on so much we have the eight of wands and the queen of cups in reverse you don't like how fast they like to move we have the devil card at the bottom of the deck it's just very immature this person may be the kind of person that's like you you say okay say you have a problem with them they did something that you felt was wrong um and you call them out on it and they they don't apologize for it or say you're still upset about it so do you just want to break up they may be the kind of person that will like put you in a space where they give you an ultimatum like they try to force you to forgive them or get over something you know quickly just so they can get out of that energy because they don't want to feel like you're mad at them or they don't want to feel like they've done something wrong or take responsibility um so we have the four of pentacles page of wands in reverse and the king of pentacles in reverse honestly this person is coming back you're living in their mind rent free but i if i had to say i would say you are not going to entertain this person i don't feel like you're going to give them another chance four of pentacles i feel like you're like i would rather save myself for someone else because king of pentacles in reverse you are not enough for me or you are not who i need page of wands in reverse i don't want to get into a relationship with someone that i have to teach or that i have to help grow or that i have to deal with so much bs or that they're just trying to pressure me into things too quickly or i just don't want it so ultimately i feel like that's your energy but i, I think you'll hear them out and see if it's doable or not but that's what I got. My Etsy is below if you want a private tarot reading. That was your spread today. I'll talk to you soon. Now offering seven day vigil candles burned on my personal altar for money, transformation, romantic love, psychic ability, clearing negative energy, passion, power, and more. 
All right, if you chose group three with the orange stone, let's get right into it. Whose head are you living in rent free? And what are they thinking? So the first couple of cards I have under your stone, we have invitation, intruder, and I want to make something of myself and then come towards you. So tapping in, this kind of feels maybe, I don't want to put a title on it, but it does feel like someone who kind of comes in like a wrecking ball. It's like they come in and they kind of disturb your peace. They come in out of nowhere. This feels like a very impulsive person or someone who like always comes in at the worst time, like as soon as you're okay being single or as soon as you start talking to someone else, they, they come in. Um, this person is trying to get on your level and it's like they, they work on themselves and then they come back. And then they see, oh, I still have this and this and this to work on. So then they go back into hermit mode or then they go back into working on themselves mode or they ghost or they dip out, whatever. But it feels, spirits, okay, spirits saying it's not karmic <laughs> because I just kept saying like, it feels karmic. Like in my head, I'm like, this feels like a karmic situation and spirits saying it's not karmic. So it's not a karmic relationship, but it does kind of feel that way. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Spirit is also saying it's not karmic because they haven't had a full relationship yet. So this is probably not someone you've officially dated. Um, this is someone who you met, they saw they weren't good enough for you or they weren't in alignment with you or they still had some things to work on. Maybe they were triggered or activated by you so they went into hermit mode or they went into work on themselves mode or whatever. And then, you know, they came back into your life after they had worked on those things or after they had some progress and they're like, okay, I'm still not in alignment maybe because you guys are also really working on yourself so that could definitely be a thing if you're working on yourself consistently then you're growing as this person is growing so every time you meet it's just like you've also grown too so they're still not like enough or in alignment with you we have self-love the mask and too tough so to be honest, this person feels kind of low. They feel like they're not enough for you. We have the mask card here. So I do feel not necessarily that they're trying to hide their feelings. I mean, the proof is in the pudding. Like someone's not going to keep coming back and back to a restaurant that they hate. You know, well, maybe, I don't know. People are weird, but uh, not to a person like to a person. It can happen. Okay, fine. But we have the mask and self-love so you can see that this person is interested they keep coming back but it's like every time they come back there's something there's something new so i don't know think about it like do you feel like you are being too hard on them are you trying to have a perfect person or relationship because that just won't you know exactly happen like really ever there's always going to be something that someone could work on or something that isn't in alignment uh we have building up the nerve and manifesto so this person has really been thinking about what they're going to say what they're going to do how they're going to come back and what way they need to approach you i keep hearing that too like they keep messing up maybe you like flowers on the first date or something like that and it's like they keep forgetting or you know you wanted them to hold open your door and they did not and it's just like ah oh, there's always something they are going to be coming back and they're going to be communicating to you what it is that they feel i feel like they're just going to lay it out on the table because we have conceited and plenty of fish in the sea so that's like an energy of they have a big ego they don't like to get turned down too much they're like why am i always striking out with this person i like them why is it never working why am i never enough <laughs> i feel kind of bad for them we have too much on my mind and show love so they are going to be coming through to show you some love and to communicate that listen this is what i want if you're into it I, i'm into it let's see what they're thinking spirit for group three show me their thoughts <clears throat> Take my hand, let's walk this path together. You may be a say it with your whole chest kind of person because there's also this energy of this person trying to like 
feel they want to feel like this is a shared experience there's things that you're doing wrong and i'm doing wrong you know it's like and i don't feel like you guys are taking that responsibility either because you don't want to or because maybe you don't feel that there is any responsibility or it's something that you're supposed to do on your end um but there is an energy of like There's an energy of them wanting to wanting to feel like this is a mutual struggle, not just like they're pursuing you and they don't feel that way. They don't feel like they're getting that. I find you so attractive. You are so beautiful. I can be sneaky at times. It's up to you to figure out how. This person may play games and you may see right through it. You may see right through it and it's like, you know, yeah, I may not be perfect, but I'm not playing those games. You may feel like the games that you play are on a different level. Like you may feel like you do have, have flaws, but not when it comes to like the foundation. You know what I mean? Like this is foundational. This is a foundational problem. This person isn't communicating or staying long enough to work through things you may have your own problems as well but they're just different or not on the same level spirit what else can you tell me for group three we have the ten of pentacles in reverse so this is a wasted opportunity spirit is like King of Swords in reverse, okay. <clears throat> this person sucks at communication or whenever conversations get intense, they start to make it about something else or they start to check out or withdraw or just give you an ultimatum to avoid the whole conversation. You know, like, so you may say, I don't like this thing that you do. And they say, so did, you don't want to be with me then? You know, like they may give you those ultimatums that don't help you grow. They may not actually talk about the problem. And I, I, I would say, say it straight up. This isn't about, do I want to walk away of this relationship or not? Can we keep it on this thing that I'm talking about? I, if, if I wanted to end this relationship, I would just end this relationship. I'm having this conversation because I'm trying to get you to understand I don't like this thing or I'm uncomfortable with this or this is where I don't feel supported. This is what I need. So let's not just, oh, you want to walk away then? I mean, we could, but that doesn't help either of us. So, ten of wands. I feel like in order for you guys to have something, you're going to have to have a breakthrough and then start over and leave the past in the past because we got the ten of cups in reverse this is giving me like an energy especially with that ten of uh swords this is giving me like an energy of we've tried multiple times and it hasn't worked and honestly both of you guys are tired out at this point so if it doesn't work this last time see you in the next lifetime it ain't gonna be this one you know that's how it kind of feels but yeah they are gonna come back and they're gonna tell you how they feel and you know kind of lay it all out there try to ignore their ultimatums or keep it focused on what it is that you actually need to work on and talk about express yourself give them space to express themselves and hopefully you guys can have a breakthrough but that's what i got my etsy is below if you want a private tarot reading that is where you can find me that was your message i'll talk to you soon now offering seven day vigil candles burned on my personal altar for money transformation romantic love, psychic ability, clearing negative energy, passion, power, and more. All right, if you chose group four with the green stone, this is your reading. Okay, so the first few cards we have on your stone for who's mine you're living in rent free, what are they thinking? We got blast from the past, spellbound, and I keep a lot hidden from you out of fear. So we're going to see what that is. But this is someone who is very spellbound by you, someone who is very attracted to your look. And you may be the kind of person that's very conventionally attractive. Maybe you had a glow up like uh, in your later years. So it's like you had to learn how to have a personality. <laughs> so you don't resonate with like it just people being interested in you because of how you look. Um, or you may just be very conventionally attractive. But this does, this does appear to be someone you know, of course, and a blast from the past. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, okay. 
thought that was the forbidden fruit card, but it's the be honest card. We have commitment and be honest. So I think the truth is both of you mutually like each other. There are feelings here, but we are going to have to be honest about the past in order to move forward because something that they did in the past was not okay. We have gone and sailing. So they may have ghosted you without explanation. They may have done something that made you feel away, like actually something, you know, towards you or against you. And there's an energy of you needing to communicate how it is that you feel um, about the ghosting or whatever it is that they did or about the amount of effort that they put in because the sailing card is always a very slow energy. It's always like, man, this takes a long time like or it's it can represent stagnancy, you know, and, and being like just comfortable with the with the with the status quo I guess so like for an example this could be in an energy of like you wanting to save for a house or you wanting a certain kind of future and it's like this person would have conversations about the future or about saving for a house with you but they wouldn't actually do it they were very comfortable with their apartment they didn't take any effort to save extra money just very stagnant or complacent and we have the walking away card here and spend some time. So I do see you guys spending some time together after not seeing each other for a while. That tends to happen around the holidays. This person could be coming into town, um, you know, and, and that's why you're spending time with them, being able to see them. Um, but with the walking away card, it does feel like you haven't talked to them for a while. You guys took a break or they walked away from the situation. This could be an energy of you walking away from the situation. If I can find a way, I'm going to contact you soon. So for some of you, you haven't spoken to this person in a long time, like since school or something like that. We have, let me take the lead to bridge this gap between us two. And then, like I said, if I can find a way, I'm going to contact you soon. So this could be someone that you dated like in college or in high school, but you don't have their information or they don't have your information. We also have, pardon me if I come off a bit strong, I just know what I want. This is giving me a very like synchronistic meeting where it's like, okay, this person's coming into town for the holidays or you're coming into town for the holidays and you're seeing them at the grocery store or something like that. And um, they're like, holy crap, like taken aback at maybe your look and your glow up. Um, but also like, I can't believe we just seen each other here. Like what is happening? Very shocked. So they may be like word vomit and like really holding you up in the grocery store. You may have like, if you have a kid, you may have your child with you or a family member with you. And it's like, this is not the time to be spilling the beans about RT. Like this is not the time to have this conversation. Um, but I feel like a word vomit, like this person trying to say everything all at once or coming off really, really strong. They may even come off as upset with you no matter how much time has passed if you did leave them because of because of how you may end things because this this pile I do feel kind of like 60 40 60 percent of you okay this person did leave but 40 percent of you which is only 10 percent less um 40% of you chose to walk away from this person and you're kind of in shock don't even really know what to say when you first see them so yeah we have I was naive before but I know which mistakes not to repeat so that is again giving me an energy of like oh we knew each other when we were kids or in high school or years ago and we're seeing each other after a long period of time um this could also just represent like a growth spurt that this person has gone through emotionally since you have talked um, but we have I want to build something long term with you so this person is regretful and they do want to try again my feelings for you are currently of a romantic nature um, I'm a thief scheming to steal your heart so this person is going to be pursuing you pursuing you pretty heavily I have a message for like one of you so take it with a grain of salt if you know this is your situation it, you know I don't know if it doesn't apply let it fly I think it's the saying if it doesn't apply let it fly I'm in a relationship right now, but I can't stop thinking about you. That's going to be for very few of you. 
and it would make sense if you haven't seen each other for years and then this person kind of like forgot about you or didn't think they'd ever see you again let it go and they're shocked to see you it would make sense that they just so happen to be in a relationship you can't technically fault that for them but you can't hold them accountable and not entertain you know any third party bs or mess you know and make them handle what they need to handle in order for you guys to be able to move forward so we have I am secret, uh, secretive and private about my life. I don't like attention that much. So if you spend a lot of time on social media or if you have a platform, that may have been a problem in the past. They may not want you to post them or always have to post you. Personally, I find that so weird and gross, but I mean, I get it. I did grow up uh, in the internet age when internet was just becoming popular in social media, but I just feel like people just take it to a disgusting level like that's just control <laughs> you know what i mean like you gotta post me what the f what is wrong with you i'm sorry like i said i get it but i do not resonate but that may be something important to you so hopefully they'll compromise okay this is your relationship not mine um so you get to you know set whatever standards you want for yourself but we have the three of cups the magician i feel like they're gonna take you out queen of swords in reverse that's a relaxed energy i see you guys being relaxed i see them kind of doing all of the work as they're coming back tapping into this energy it's like they're really trying to win you over and we did get that energy of sorry if i come off a bit strong so they may be doing too much and you may start to feel bad about it like okay you don't have to do all of this. You don't have to spend your life savings and do the most to take me out. I get it. You like me. You want to date me. I know I'm cute and whatever. Yes, I had a glow up, but like, oh my God, you don't got to press me. Like, um, I get a, an energy of, you know, you guys kind of being like, okay, this is a lot, but you're appreciative of it. And it's nice to catch up with an old friend. And if you want to entertain something more than you'll entertain it but I do feel like you should at least hear them out to allow them to communicate and close that cycle for themselves because this person really likes you and they want to move forward magician they want to make it happen three of cups they are showing you they they are interested and this is where they want this is what they want and this is where they want to be um, but you don't have to reciprocate but at least give them the opportunity to talk about <clears throat> the past and what mistakes that you feel like they've made um so that they don't bother you in the future and also so that you don't have this cycle open unnecessarily when you know you're not interested so we have the temperance in reverse and the two of swords that's kind of like there's no saying how this will go but this person is going to be trying to pursue you so that is something you can expect that's what i got for you my etsy is below if you want a private tarot reading that is where you can find me that was your message today i love you be careful what you wish for and i will see you in the next one now offering seven day vigil candles burned on my personal altar for money transformation romantic love psychic ability clearing negative energy passion power and more